Hello, welcome to Advanced JavaScript Tutorial, Chapter 6, JavaScript Constructor, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn about the constructor in JavaScript. So, in programming languages like Java or C Sharp, a class can have one or more constructors. But in JavaScript, a function can have one or more parameters. So, a function with one or more parameters, it can be used like a constructor. Because we can pass parameter values at the time of creating an object with a new keyword. To understand these sentences very clearly, let me jump into the next slide where I have a code snippet. Okay, and here you can observe very clearly. I have a function employee, and with to this function employee, I'm passing three parameters: first name, last name, and age. And this function employee, it's having three properties, four properties: first name, last name, age, and get full name. Okay, and after that, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create an object of this employee function and I'm doing that while creating an object of the employee function what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pass the values okay to the employee function parameters that is first name last name and age and the values are Brendan Eck and 50 respectively so this is what we are achieving the constructor functionality in JavaScript okay what we we do is we created an employee object and at the time of object creation we are passing the values to the parameters of the function employee this is how we can achieve the constructor functionality in JavaScript so without wasting much time let me implement this code present here in my Visual Studio code and let me show you output it's very simple what I'll do is first let me create a function employee and I'll pass three parameters to this first its first name last name age so it will be having three properties sorry it's four properties and one among them is it's a function expression so it's first name and to this I'm attaching this property so let me copy and paste so and this so let me go and check like whether I've used that properties itself yes I've used that itself so after that what I need to do is this dot last name is equal to this last name and this dot age is equal to fine and after that what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to uh, attach one function expression that is get full name function okay what this function is going to do it's going to return the properties values it's a last name so it has to go with the first name sorry then end up with this so here what I'll do is I'll just copy and paste it so this is last name and this dot each so this function is returning the values of first name last name and age so what I'll do right now is I'll create an object of the function employee how can I create an object of a function employee with the help of new keyword so let me take the object name as employee with a smaller case e it's new employee so right now what I've done I've created an object of the function employee so at the time of object creation I can pass values to these param parameters so the value for the first name will be uh, Brendan and be Eck 
and the value is 50 for each okay now what I'll do is I'll try to okay invoke this function get full name with the help of employee object employee dot get full name oh, so what I'll do is I'll pass this to an alert function such that we'll get the output in pop-up window so the important thing you have to un understand here is we can achieve okay we can achieve the constructor concept in JavaScript with the help of um, a function like when you create an object of a function at the time we can pass values to the parameters that's what exactly the constructor does in other languages and that functionality we are achieving in JavaScript okay that's the intention of this session now when I do control s I'll go to the folder where I saved this page double click on that so I'll get the output as Brendan Eck and 50 okay you can observe very clearly Brendan Eck and 50 this is what we learned in the session like how can we uh, with the help of cons uh, function we can achieve the constructor concept in JavaScript and I have left with one thing that is this sentence present here parameter will be assigned to a property okay if parameter value is not passed while creating an object using new then they will be undefined in the sense here I have a parameter first name this parameter is attached to a property first name so if I don't assign value to this property to this parameter then this first name property will be having the value undefined so let me show you right now here so what I'll do is I'll not pass the value to the parameter okay to the first name so I'll get the output as undefined ek and 50 when I do control s go back and let me refresh you can observe we're getting there is egg 50 and undefined okay so undefined is pushed to the last why because um, it will first display the va the values of the parameters which is attached and at last it will checks like uh, the parameters which don't have value so it will tell like this particular value is not having the value particular parameter is not having the value so it will provide you the output as undefined in the sense if you don't attach a value to the parameter um, then the property will hold the value as undefined okay that's the meaning of this sentence it's very simple suppose now what I'll do is let me show you very clearly now I'm passing value only to the last name okay S sorry now now I'm passing value only to the first name that is ek okay now I've not passed the values to last name and age now let me go back and let me refresh we'll get the output as ek undefined and undefined okay this this is what it happens right now okay and that's what we learned in the session like how to achieve the constructor concept in JavaScript so and that's for the day thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel Angpro training you can also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference refer our websites we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day